from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Tweed. Here's a look at our top stories. We head to Hartford, where a toddler is fighting for his life in the hospital after falling out of a third story window. Sadly, police say he's not expected to survive. Police tell us the parents were not home when the fall took place on Capitol Avenue. The boy's mother, 34 year old Tabitha Frank, is now facing several charges. DCF is assisting with the investigation. A street takeover in New Haven has resulted in one person getting shot. Police say early this morning a person walked into the hospital with a gunshot wound. The victim told police a fight broke out at the street racing event. Then a man pulled out his gun and fired in the middle of the road. Police say they have not found any evidence so far that a gun was fired. They are now asking anyone with information to contact New Haven police. Moving to Westbrook now where a person is fighting for their life after a car crash. This happened on Grove Beach on this happened on Grove Beach Road. Police say two drivers were going in opposite directions when they collided, and that crash is currently under investigation. Now back to Hartford, and police there say they've managed to arrest 48 people and recover a number of drugs and firearms thanks to a week-long operation in parts of the city that have had uh, recent incidents of violence. Take a look now. Police served 29 arrest warrants, recovered five firearms, over 700 grams of fentanyl, and even more drugs during this week week-long narcotics operation. And police in Litchfield are asking for help identifying a wanted, per, a wanted man for theft at CVS. Take a look at your screen. Police say this man stole numerous over-the-counter drugs from the CVS on West Street last Wednesday. Police say the suspect is approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall with two long dark braids. Anyone who recognizes him or has any information could, should give police a call. Well, heat and humidity gradually builds in the upcoming week. We will start off with the most pleasant air on Monday, and then it just kind of goes downhill from there. Upper 80s initially, then 90 beginning on Wednesday, heat wave through at least Friday, and we could be talking about a heat advisory, not out of the realm of possibilities Thursday and Friday. Very humid as well, those overnight lows in the 70s. A few pop-up showers and thunderstorms are part of the mix on a daily basis, and those highs are going to be nearly as hot by the shoreline.